I hate spiders. Oh, I emptied almost my whole jar. I hate spiders. I really do. <laughs> if you can see, I pretty much emptied my whole jar of uh, a whole jug of um, bug killer on that thing. That was a huge spider, guys. Anyway, let's get started with the oil change. All right, so in this video, we're going to learn how to do the oil change on the X5, X6, X6M, X65M uh, V8 engines. And I'm also going to teach you guys how to reset your maintenance uh, reminder or your oil change reminder. All right, there's two ways to do it. So at the end of the video, I'll show you that. <laughs> Now, if you follow the channel, you probably know I used to have a X550i, and I did an oil change on this one, on that. I did an oil change on that vehicle too. So what I did differently on the X5M, this is my second oil change. Um, I used a couple things. I used an oil change uh, flush from Luka Mali, and I used Saratech. Now, the reason I did the flush because I didn't know what oil was in here at the beginning. Um, I'm not sure what the previous owner used. And my, I noticed within 2,000 miles of driving the X5, even though when I first got it, the oil was top, it was at the full level, I burned a quart of oil in 2,000 miles. I could not believe it. I was thinking to myself, did I get myself into an X5 with high oil consumption? Well, I can tell you now, confidently after testing it, Whatever I did, the Liquid Molly, or it could be, and or, the combination of the Ceratec, it reduced my oil consumption down to, I basically, the 5,000 miles that I drove this X5, I have not had to add any oil to it. guys you see the oil here and this isn't this isn't with just like being babying it this driving this thing very easy this was a lot of acceleration runs this was all those races I did with the x5m and that Porsche Macan this is me like driving it on call going you know fast you know acceleration and you know this is also 100 degree weather driving around I I'm confident to say you should reduce your oil consumption with uh, Luka Mali and Saratech. All right, so the first thing I do when I get under here is I look and I look underneath to see if everything is still clean and dry. Because what I don't want I don't want to see um, anything shiny, any oil residue underneath. And I go all the way back towards where the pipes are so I'll know ahead of time if anything is dripping, if my transfer cases uh, or transmission is anything leaking there, I'll see it way back. Um, I just kind of give it a quick inspection before I proceed so I'll know. If anything happens later down the road, I was like, you know what? This did not happen before I did the oil change. So things you have. I have socket. Um, this is a H8. Um, now this works. I think there is something a little bit better, like a more of a star pattern, but this works. Um, I always have, just in case, I keep this in my cabinet as a backup. This is a backup drain plug just in case you never know what you're running to um, oil filter and two jugs of oil liquid molly this is the uh, Lysoloff high tech if I say it correctly uh, it's fully synthetic the x5 holds um, I believe it is 10 quarts of oil or 9.5 liters so 
uh, these things are just over um, five point zero five liter total, so just over um, five and a half quarts, or just under five and a half quarts. And it is BW, what you want to look for is BW Long Life recommendation. Now, those of you who are wanting to do your own motor chain, motor flush, what you want to do, you pour the flush in, because I did this before, you pour the motor flush in right now while the car is sitting, and you let the engine idle for 10 minutes. I set a timer for 10 minutes, I let it idle, turn it off, and then begin to drain. That's it. All right, when you add the Saratech, the Saratech, I'm not putting it in this time because it lasts 30,000 miles. But when you add the Saratech, you shake the can, you pour it in when you pour the oil in. That's it, okay? What we're gonna do today, you come right back. This is your drain plug. And then this is where oil filter is gonna be. All right, so when you're doing this, that bolt I showed you up here, straight back, right in there, put this right in here, you want it to go counterclockwise. Give it a little turn, that's all it takes, a little pop. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this slowly by hand. But additionally, I'm going to hold this up here because when this oil comes out, it splashes quite a bit. You guys see my last video and you guys laughed at me when the oil got all over the floor. It's not gonna happen this time because I'm gonna show you, I know what I'm doing. for this. Okay. All right, and that's it. Let it drain. And that's it, just let it drain and you see how much oil got down. Just that little bit right there. With that drain, I'll drain the filter and then should be good to go. Now that the oil is draining, I can now shift everything to the oil filter, which is right there. So turn it, it's got a special tool here. Put that right on the filter. All right, so you guys have suggested that I use gloves. So here I am, I did gloves and hands are clean. Yes, I understand the payoff and the threat, you know, I should be doing it more often, but I guess I'm just stubborn and I'm one of those that just goes by the feel. But um, now since the oil well, since it's dripping right now, I want to talk a little bit more about the Ceratec and what it does for you. Ceratec is an additive. And initially I thought it was snake oil, but however, liquid molly, the oil I use, seems really good. So I'm thinking, okay, they wouldn't put something else like this, you know, for a, for a brand like this to, to lose, you know, their accreditation. I talked to a few people who used it and they said they liked the results. So I thought, you know what, let's try it. If I don't feel a difference, if I don't notice difference, you know, so what? Um, I decided to go ahead and pour it in. And I did it my last oil change 5,000 miles ago. And I can tell you right away, I noticed the engine idled smoother, 
there was no vibration. When I checked the oil, there was any vibration. It was just, as the RPMs increased, super smooth. Now, I, wanted, I really was excited to talk about that back then, but I wanted to see how it would last long term. Would my engine still be the same? Would my engine, you know, would it all of a sudden go back to where it was before and vibrate more and have those issues? No, it didn't. I noticed on the road trip, my fuel mileage has slightly increased. I would say it has increased by one to two mile per gallon consistently. When I say that, because I used to struggle to hit 20 mile per gallon on the highway, and now I don't struggle anymore. It seems to be more reliable. I hit 19 to 20 mile per gallon with the way I drive. Now, um, as far as the smoothness in engine, yes, I noticed, but also it could be contributed to the fact Liquid Molly is a good oil. I noticed that with my last video. And what Ceratec is, it has these anti-wear properties. It's supposed to minimize the wear and tear on the engine and fill those those gaps. You know, those, those things that could cause the oil consumption. So I'm not gonna say that it's guaranteed to fix every engine and it's the one cure-all magic potion in the bottle, but I can say if you have a little bit of oil consumption, it may reduce it. It may reduce it because it did for me. I noticed that right away. It so for as hard as I drive this X5, and when I say I drive it hard, I probably at least punch it once or twice on my commute to and from work. I, I would say at least gets at least once full throttle acceleration. Now, some people baby their cars, and that's fine. I think BMWs are meant to be driven. I think they like that. I think German cars in general just need to be need to see those hard RPMs occasionally. I don't say that I would abuse it, but I think they should see it. Now, it's up to you guys if you want to do it. You more than happy can 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 do this if, if you want to try it. If you're just saying, you know what, my X5 is burning a lot of oil, pour it in there. If you don't do your oil oil changes and you say you take it to your, your dealership, a dealership mark aren't gonna, they're not gonna put that in your engine. I can tell you right now, they're not gonna pour it in there. But as soon as you get home, shake the can up, pour it in there, and then drive. And I'm just, then, let me know your thoughts. Tell me your feedback on the comments below what you think about it. So what you wanna do now, let's pull this apart. I shall set that in here. Pour out the residual oil. And then you wanna take out the O-ring for this. And this end with the metal in it, you can see right there the little mesh screen, that's gonna go into the filter, the housing. So set that down in here like this. Give it a little push. Put a click in there. It's in position. Apply that on here. You wanna take a little bit of oil, some fresh oil and lubricate it. Roll it on. It's gonna go right there. Not the first one, but the second uh, layer. Roll it down. And you're gonna go down to this one here. Reach a point now where we can add the oil. So again, counterclockwise. 
funnel in. And I'll begin to pour in the oil. So the first part, very simple. Now when it comes to your second jug, you want to put an additional five quarts, but leave the 0.28 inside the bottle. That's hard to measure. Uh, you have these marks. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to probably this line here, which is one, two, three. I'm gonna try that. I never, it's not an accurate way. So if you guys have a better way to measure this, let me know. Here, so let's say one, two, three, four, five, I guess. So let's say, okay, down here is where you want to be, where I'm stopping it. That's all. I'll back the car down from the ramps and check the oil again. So my camera died, but I use my GoPro now. Um, what you're gonna use, is the good old VPeak device. Link it, links in the description. Plug it into your OBD2 port. And I'm going to open my Beamer Link app. And when you open in here, you'll see several options. We're gonna go to service reset. I'm gonna reset the engine oil service. Successful. And the second way you can do this is by pressing and holding your reset button And then there, there you go. You can cycle through engine oil and it tells you all the different things. So, and then when you want to reset, you just press and hold and then you have the option there.